Hello guys, Survival Tech Nord here. Today we're going to take a look at the Countycom GP5 SSB wideband receiver. I'll do a more in-depth video about this radio later on. Today I'm going to take you through a countdown of the five best features. Let's get started. Number five. It's got a USB charging port that allows me to charge it directly from my Goal Zero solar panel. Number four, it uses standard AA batteries and it has a built-in charger. The charger is also compatible with the nickel metal hydride batteries that I use. Number three, the display is not bad at all. It's easy to read and it's got a powerful backlight. Number two, the GP5 has an easy tuning mode. By pushing the button when you're on any band, the radio will scan the band, all the frequencies in the band, and store in temporary memories all of the stations that it finds. All you have to do is push a button. And number one is by far the most surprising feature for a radio of this size. It's the audio quality, and it's actually no worse than the audio quality coming out of most laptops. Anyway, forgive me for this Swedish radio station. Korsholms Uxen Institut ordnar ett flertal både vår och höst. Matglada mogna män är en av de här kurserna. Och som rubriken avslöjar riktar den sig till män i mogen ålder. Jag fick hänga med en förmiddag när det matglada gänget samlades under ledning av Monica Simons. Well guys, who would have thought a Swedish teacher in the third grade would have been good for a little boy? Nevertheless, there's the county com radio, GP5 SSB. There are some other good features about it as well, but I just thought to focus on a few things that I thought were unique about this radio in this price range. If you found this video useful, informative, or entertaining, please give me a thumbs up. You can also help out by letting people know what we're doing with this channel. Rock and roll, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao.